Hello and welcome. There's more to tell about Team Developer 6.3 GUI features. In this video, I'm going to show you the new runtime menu APIs of Team Developer 6.3. In the past, users did use Visual Tool Chest um, functions to manipulate menus at runtime. These functions haven't been complete, so Win32 direct calls to the Windows system have been used. And now we are providing a new set of complete menu APIs that are totally integrated to, into Team Developer and that work on .NET and Win32 seamlessly. Let me start my little app here and explain with the running app what has been added. So there's basically two types or three types of Azar menu functions. One type is for creating a menu. And if I press this button, menu functions will be used to create this new um, drop-down menu for edit, copy, cut, paste, and delete here. Runtime menus can also react on clicks on them. So basically you see um, what has been clicked here. I'm, I'm putting the information into this list box here. The second set of style menu functions is to set the properties of a menu, like the font size, um, the image that should be displayed if it, the menu is disabled or um, enabled, and things like that. So let me show you a bunch of functions that set properties. And with setting the properties, you can also change the menu text here. And you see the font size has changed. Um, enabled, the, the checked has been set for this menu item, an image has been set for these two um, menu items. And if I click on these now, then you can see the copy menu item is has been selected, the state was unchecked, enabled, and the font was courier 14 uh, with an attribute of bold. Now, there's a third set of functions that create menus um, including the properties. So by pressing here, I created the settings menu. And the settings menu already uses all the attributes that are settable, like font, font attributes, images, um, check box, and other things that can be used in uh, menus. So if I check, click here, you'll see in the menu, click here, font menu item selected, checked, enabled, font type is Verdana 14 in bold. OK. So you saw how that can look at runtime. And now look, let's look at the code. Go back to the outline here. And in the contents, there's three buttons here. Um, the PB menu button creates the set of edit um, menu with, a, with the edit menu at the top level using this menu, menu flag pop up. And then adding, adding um, the copy, cut, paste, and delete menu, all using the function style menu insert, using uh, different parameters to that function. You, into the menu insert functions, you pass the form window that contains the menu, the uh, um, parent menu name, the position at which the menu item should be inserted, minus one if it should be appended at the end, and name for the menu item that can be used when um, analyzing the clicks on a menu later, if you want to code for that menu, the text that should be displayed, and a menu flag that can be zero or something like menu flag pop up here. The second group of style menu functions was a set of functions that change the properties of existing menus. So this is this button here. And in the message actions, um, you can see there's a number of functions here, style menu set text, Style menu set font, style menu set enabled, style menu set check, style menu set picture. And if you're done with all that, you do something that's called style draw menu bar, which implements or paints all the changes that you have done to that menu bar. So style menu set text, you see that I'm changing the text from edit to edit menu. Um, I'm changing the font here with style menu set font to Courier 14 font enhancement bold, and things like that. The third group of style menu functions can be found behind this button here. They create menu entries, including properties. So style menu insert X 
and you can pass in font names, font enhancements, font sizes. You can pass in the picture. You can pass in a menu flag that um, tells um, the system if it should be a check menu or if it should be a menu bar break that uh, should be displayed. So all the things that I did previously with two calls are now are available in just one call as well. So you can uh, define your runtime create monitor menu with set properties just right from the beginning. The remaining thing to tell about SAL menu. So there's also a new message, SAM menu item click. And the L param of that message contains the menu item that has been clicked. If you look at this function here, get menu item properties, you will see that I'm calling functions like SAL menu get text. So getting all the setting, all the menu definitions from the menu itself. SAL menu get font settings, SAL menu get check status, get enabled. Um, and then I'm putting together a string that then will be put into the uh, list block at the end. So you see that I'm checking if it's a font enhancement bold is set, if it's a default font, italic, normal, strike out, enha enhancement, underline, and I'm just constructing a string that will be put in the list box to, to tell the user what kind of properties had been set for this menu. So TD6.3 comes with a powerful new SAL menu API that allows you to create menus at runtime and including setting all the properties like fonts, images, and things to create very intuitive and high usability applications using Team Developer 6.3.